Hi there once again, welcome to Prestige Auctions and this is the first video of what may be a few uh, showing you a behind the scenes look of the forthcoming uh, specialist sale that we've got coming up on the 22nd and 23rd of this month. The, basically the theme of this auction starts off with pottery, Moorcroft and uh, Royal Dalton and stuff like that, maybe 40, 50, 60 lots and then we move on to two days worth of toys, gaming, old stuff, vintage stuff, modern stuff, collectible stuff, you name it. But we're going to give you a bit of a look behind the scenes. So of course, this isn't what you're going to see uh, this Friday. This coming Friday is the viewing for this auction and you can come down to Prestige Auctions and view. Of course, this one will be on Easy Live Auction as well. So easylivauction.com, uh, get yourself on there. This one should be on there by tomorrow night. That's Monday. So it's actually 11th, 12th, Monday the 13th. I believe it is so we should be on there by tomorrow evening but what we're going to do so what's happening today well we're having a, a, a look round and we've placed everything already that's all been done this week you can see we're going to look in, in greater detail in a minute but you can see look there's still coffee cups on the side and stuff so ultimately this is showing you what we get up to behind the scenes at prestige auctions well today is a big photography day so we've got a photography thing set up and uh slowly but surely we are getting through all of these items here look and numbering them up this is what we call a lotting up day lotting up days aren't my favorite days i'm going to be honest they're long and the the back hurts by the end of it you're taking stuff in and out of cabinets and all the rest of it so just to get this stuff all mm. ready for the viewing for this auction so Please, uh, please come down to uh, the viewing this Friday and have a look. So let's start. Where have we started? We started over here with the Moorcroft this morning. The Moorcroft, uh, there we go. I'm going to open that so we don't get so much glare. And look at this. There are 29 pieces of Moorcroft that have come in from one private vendor and there's one piece come from another vendor. So look at all this absolutely stunning, colourful Moorcroft. While a lot of potteries have dropped off a cliff, including Claris, uh, these are still red hot. And most of these, I think all bar one, have got their original boxes as well. Now we didn't have room to put all those into the cabinet, so there you go. Moorcroft here, Moorcroft down here as well. Look at some of the size of these. This is an absolutely stunning collection of Moorcroft. So there you are with your Moorcroft. Look at that one as well, that nice lidded one. Uh, we'll be, of course, in the descriptions, you'll be getting the sizes and all the rest of it. So then we come over here, and then this one. This is quite a rare piece. Royal Dalton, King Charles I, uh, 19... I can't remember which year this one is, but this is the real tall one, the real tall King Charles, Royal Dalton piece. And then uh, down here, I'm just showing you the bits we've lotted up so far. Then we've got these here, a pair of uh, clay ducks, and then we've got some uh, Armani stuff there. You know, the old uh, Capo de Monte. And then we've got uh, a lot of Royal Dalton pieces, including Henry VIII and his wives. There you go. There they are, look. They've all been lotted up and photoed already, those ones. So there's Henry VIII and all his wives. He had a few, didn't he? And uh, there you go, down on some balloon cellars and things. Lots of nice Royal Dalton. And then we've got some down there that we haven't quite done yet. Okay, what else have we got in this sale? Well, we've got then, we will go on to a huge collection of this no Napoleonic stuff. So you look here, that castle, I can tell you now, that castle weighs an absolute ton. I had to lift it up there. It's a very heavy piece. We've then got these Napoleonic bits and uh, and these here. And then we've got a lot of uh, this sort of stuff, these cannons and, uh, and different uh, soldiers. And you come into this cabinet here. Well, look at this. This here is an absolutely fantastic cabinet, full of great stuff. You come there, all this Napoleonic stuff as well. Look at these. These pieces are absolutely stunning. Of course, we are doing individual pictures of all these, so you'll be able to see them on the Facebook page and on Easy Live Auctions from hopefully from tomorrow evening. So this one here is the Napoleon Napoleon at War, the Del Prado metal figurine set. As you can see, that one makes a few quid online. And as I always say at auction, don't just look at this and think, oh, I don't collect them, I'm not interested. Think about reselling them. Everyone can resell. Everybody online has made it so easy for you these days. So get yourself reselling, and then the items you want are often for free. There you go, look at these. Look at the size of some of these. These soldiers and things, I mean, these are really tall. Look at the cabinet sizes there. This one here as well, and these ones. 
and then these ones here as well so this is your bit of a sneak peek almost for what's going to come tomorrow a bit like we do on a monday well where do we even start with the toys well look at this cabinet this is old old stuff and most of this is in pretty good condition it's not all boxed but do you know what there's a lot of dinky here a lot of dinky an old corgi and of course we've pulled out some of the better pieces here look at that corgi car transporter at the back there with the original box the bbc van uh, for sports events and that there that is a cool piece that is a, a lone star time bomb basically you put a cap in it and after a while the timer runs down and it fires it off and the kids would have been dead excited lone star luger presentation set in there uh, some timpo stuff i think that has actually got a little bit of damage sadly this one here this matchbox series that's quite a rare one as well again in stunning condition uh, dinky super toys lawnmower and we've got some double o gauge wind up stuff as well i come down here we've got some of the lesney stuff as well some old cap guns and things and then a V, oh, that's cool as well. The Star Wars school set. So that is a Helix set from 1977. Never actually got opened. So it's a cool piece. We've actually opened it up. It's on the other clip to have a look and none, none of the pencils have been used or anything. They always say Star Wars on them. We've got some 007 stuff down the bottom as well. It's really going to take a while to get around this. This sale is huge, which is why it's a two day sale. So into this cabinet here, uh, where you've got collection sets there, uh, various boxes of die cast and things and then you've got some Playmobil rare pieces but there is a lot of gaming in this auction a hell of a lot of gaming which you're going to see very soon as we look here uh, one of our customers put their collection of old collectibles in and these uh, corgis from the 1960s mainly and some 70s as well but with the original boxes look at these these are absolutely stunning here we've got more including some rare colors as well so you know these ones of course are going to be sold individually because they are very collectible these pieces and you will be able to bid on this one online as well as at home the great thing is as soon as we put this live on easy live you can start bidding straight away so you need to get yourself registered as soon as it goes on which will let you know on social media all these matchbox sets here are going to be sold by the stack these are early Matchbox pieces, as well as the Matchbox 75, car transporters, and various other Matchbox pieces, as you can see down there. And that you, you won't see nothing yet. There's a load more of that. There's also some old tin plate stuff as well, some wind-up toys. And what about these? Everyone remembers these from like the 1980s, handheld games and things. I think we've got Frogger down there as well, as well as some Game Boy colours and uh, various sort of Tamagotchi type things and what have you. And if you look here. There's some Sega Saturn games, and there's a lot more of those yet, believe me. Uh, as well as this big bendy bus there. And uh, these, you're going to see a lot of these well. This is the uh, the pop figurines there. This one, the thing, quite a nice one, that one. And uh, this one here is the Giant Man. These are the large ones. There are a few of those. And there are a few signed ones as well. I'm not quite sure where those are. Coming over here, there's a lot of Star Wars, as always, in these uh, sales. And this, look at this Ren Formula 152 old racing set with the cars as well. What about this? Dan Dare radio station. How cool is that? You would have been uh, the mutts nuts if you'd have had one of these when you was a kid. Look at that there. What a great toy. Uh, I don't think the kids really appreciate these days how good some of the toys were or how good we thought they were back in the day because uh, all they seem to do now is play on consoles. So you've got all this stuff here. And then you come here. Well, this is another one of the gaming cabinets. Whether you're into Dreamcast games, uh, some have been split off on their own, some are in piles. This is why viewing will be so important for this sale. Look at all this. It is just an endless amount. GameCube, Sega, Mega Drive, there's Dreamcast, you name it. It's in there. And then we come on to more of these pop figurines. Not quite sure where the signed ones are. I'm going to have to ask Lisa that one. So there you go, all those pieces in there. There's bound to be some rarities in there. Well, uh, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll just show you these ones down here as well. So these ones, as you come down here, look more and more of these pot figurines. And you can see they're being sold in fours and sixes. We've tried to theme them up the best we can. These metallic ones down here as well. And then you come on to here. We're gonna see more, I think, as we go around. But just look at them all, just box after box of these ones here. There's bound to be some rarities in there, so that's why you need to come and look. 
Well, what about this? One of the things we featured on our Do You Remember videos this week is the Sinclair ZX Spectrum 128 Plus 3. In its original box, it came from Curry's, as you can see there. This is a nice old piece to get hold of. Of course, you were the posh kid on the uh, on the estate if you had a disk drive at the side of it, because we all know how long the tapes used to set to load the games, while well, the disk drives were a lot quicker. We come here, we've got a, a case of games, we've got some mega blocks there as well, and we've got uh, a box of Atari games as well, another one of the things that featured on our uh, Do You Remember videos. But who likes Warhammer? Well, lots of people love Warhammer, and Warhammer, to be fair, is not the cheapest of stuff. But look at all this. A lot of these are in sealed boxes. All this Warhammer here, and these, and these, and then a box of Warhammer. There's some paints to do the, the figures. And then just look at these cases. I'm going to try and show you. There you go. Original uh, Warhammer 40,000 case. And these are the large cases. And then you look in here, there is just all this Warhammer as well. Look at it all. A fantastic lot. Get going straight away with your army. Uh, some of these are part filled, some are filled, as you can see. Uh, but the boxes on their own are absolutely great. And then, anyway, let's keep moving. There's got so much to show you. We then come on to some of the sealed boxes, figurines and stuff. Not all super old. Some of these are modern as well. It uh, hasn't got to be old to be collectible these days. People do like to look at all the various things. Game of Thrones there, and then Justice League. And there's also some model kits. There's always a few model kits seem to make their way into these sales. And we come up here, and we're going back to the 1970s. That looks a bit like Tonka to me. And then we've got collectibles in there. And we've got some aviation archive. Well, no sale would be right. A toy sale without those in. And you come down here, action figures. And then you come onto this side. We've got Lego. We've got Harry Potter Lego. We've got Mega Bloks Dragons. And then you come onto this, which can only be said is a stunning, stunning collection. Space 1999. The gentleman that collected these never opened one of them. These are the big expensive boxes. These are making a lot of money online. You need to come and see these. These are mint condition. You could lick them, they're that clean. It is absolutely beautiful stuff, this. All this space, uh, 1999. All this here. And then uh, we've got various models and planes. Again, from the same gentleman, always collected at the top end. Uh, you've even got some double, uh, sorry, N-gauge stuff down there as well, N-gauge sets. So there are one or two items. There's also some uh, uh, display cabinets for your diecast as well down there. So let's move into this area. Uh, Kit, Knight Rider, another strong collectible, this one, mint condition in its box, making 150 to 200 online. I'm told, I've not checked that myself. So I'd need to have a look at that. But anyway, it's there to sell. You know, it doesn't matter what things are making online. Uh, have a look at what the, you think you can buy them for. So there's some sort of ray gun there and then all these various collectibles. And then we come on to this. Well, I'm going to try and show you a little bit of it all, but this is Diecast Central. Whether you're looking for old play worn or whether you're looking for modern uh, collectibles like these ones here. We've also got the French series, American series in here as well and lots and lots of look at these mint in the boxes this is a collector's dream so you come here uh, to prestige auctions and as you see that by that mushroom crate there that is how they're being sold by the crates all of these match boxes the american series down there as well that american series that's another american series then we've got some of the larger match box and smaller match box we've got a few ty teddies as well a few of them have made their way into the sale and then we come on to this one, there's a box of various, um, what are they, uh, model kits, that's the one. And then we go back on to gaming as well. So I'll tell you what, before we go on to the gaming, I'll just show you the rest of the die cast that's on the floor down there. So all of this die cast as well. Before we hit the gaming, well, look at this. This is Sega Mega Drive. I'm going to try and show you some of the titles so you can have a look at them and then start doing your research, see if they're worth buying uh, to sell on or whether you want them for your own collection. These will all be elastic banded up by the time we've finished doing the photograph. We've got Sega Saturn stuff there, more Sega Saturn stuff there, more Sega Saturn, there's some more of the titles. Uh, these ones here, we've got Game Boy Color games. There you go, these ones here. We've got these here, are these Sinclair or something? I'm not quite sure, but anyway, there you go, that's those. 
And then we move onto this box here with a few rarities in this one as well of the Master System games. So there you go, that's that box there. There's another box here with uh, various uh, Master System, uh, I believe they're Master System, no, the Mega Drive, Mega Drive games and that one. And these have been sold by the box. So as you see that there, that's what you're bidding on. That whole box and then a box of PC games. No, or are they Amiga? They might be Amiga actually. And then we come here, what about that for a box of all those Nintendo games? Look at that, what a great lot. That's a great lot, that's a great lot. And you come here and then you've got more collectibles as you can see here. Uh, various things. Anyway, ready for this? Look at this. If you like action figures, there these are mint condition again. All sealed in the boxes. Whether you like Doctor Who, Batman, Star Wars, uh, various wrestling figures as well. All these ones here, the elite wrestling figures. All of these are going under the hammer. Under the hammer on the twenty second and twenty third. Under the table as well. We run out of space. We've got that much stuff in this two day sale. And you come here, more pop figurines, as you can see, these ones down here. And then we move on to some Doctor Who stuff, all boxed, of course. And then some of the uh, Borrego stuff, large cars, large die cast. That's all being sold as one lot there, all of those Eddie Stobart ones. Uh, that's another great piece. Then we come into here, look at that Airfix uh, kit hiding at the back there, the, uh, the RNLI. Uh, rescue boat there, <clears throat> lifeboat, and then under here we've got Lord of the Rings collectibles. Uh, as you can see, these have been sold by the box as well. More of these, we've got die cast, we've got Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, more die cast. Then on the back here, we've got the Vanguard collectibles. There was a lot of James Bond stuff, some nice older cars there as well. And then one more die cast down here, a box of Star Wars stuff there as well. And then I think the list is absolutely endless of how much stuff is in this auction. But of course, it's not just about an auction about collectibles. Look at reselling as well. Get yourself on Vinted and eBay and that, and you can sell some of this stuff and make some extra money for yourself. That there is a pile of all them Lego boxes, look. Uh, Star Trek, more Star Trek up there, more large die-cast cars and some Chipperfield stuff as well by Corgi, I believe. Uh, more Corgi stuff, older Corgi stuff. Then under the tables in here, we've got more Doctor Who, more die cast as well as we come down here there's lots and lots and lots of it now we don't know how many lots this is going to end up being look at that it's a nice old vintage box there as well uh, and then we come to gaming central well no i'll tell you what actually let's just have a quick look at the rest of those die cast more die cast up there more die cast more die cast <laughs> and one or two bits of die cast as you can see all of those boxes of it there as well and then we come to gaming central well what a lot this is. You look down here, you've got boxes and boxes of games. Boxes of uh, Kinect, is it, what, what did they call that, what they did for Xbox, was it Kinect? I can't remember, Kinect or something. Anyway, boxes of games, as you can see there, boxes of Wii games, boxes of PlayStation games, uh, Guitar Heroes we've got, we've also got PlayStation and gaming t-shirts, all those there, they've been sold by the basket, there's all them ones there, there's, there's all sorts it's just unreal look at the size of these boxes that's how that's being sold one two three four five six playstation twos all together basket of accessories nintendos etc game cubes being sold by the case um uh, various uh, playstations and things and old gaming units and what about these these controllers people have been telling me you can take these into places like cax and that and actually sell these look at that pile of playstations Pile of controllers, more controllers, Sega Mag Master Systems along with a Mega Drive. And there's just more and more and more of it. And then there's more gaming down here, more boxes of gaming. There's Wii's, there's Game Boys, there's a box of uh, games there. There's more Dreamcast games, PlayStation games, SNES games, Nintendo games. And in fact, you name it, there's games for everything. Listen, everybody, don't take my word for it. This is a fantastic auction. You need to come and view this auction. Keep yourself some time available for this Friday. The, view, the viewing starts at eight in the morning and finishes at seven o'clock at night. We're expecting a lot of people, a lot of interest on this auction. There's some great stuff in it. Uh, so come down to the viewing this week. You can, of course, start viewing this on Easy Live Auction from Monday evening. And 
Get yourself registered, get bidding. If you're gonna be at work that day, well, maybe consider taking the day off. I think it's a good one to take a holiday for. Get yourself down to Prestige Auctions or bid online. We're looking forward to it, I'm sure you are. Thanks ever so much for watching this one. Don't forget to leave a comment if you owned any of these items at one point and uh, was looking to buy them back again because it's re uh, regenerating your childhood or something like that. We'd love to hear your comments. Thanks ever so much for watching this one. I know it's been a bit long. Uh, have a great weekend and we'll catch you at the auction.